since you decided to click this video i can only assume you're interested in starting a stream on twitch so Duh. in this video i'm going to go over the basics of how you can do that using obs studio but before you should even worry about getting obs studio you're going to need to make a twitch account so head on over to twitch create an account and then go download obs studio once you have obs studio downloaded make sure you open it up on the bottom right find the settings button click into that go to stream and connect your twitch account which you previously created to obs this will make things very very easy in terms of expediting this process now once you've done that we're going to go ahead and set up the rest of your obs we'll go to output here most likely you're going to want to select the nvidia nvink encoder if you have an nvidia card otherwise you might use x264 which is going to be more off of your cpu so we're going to go forward thinking that you have selected the nvidia nvink h264 new encoder from there you will set your bit rate this is going to be based on your upload speed you're going to want a decent upload speed in order to provide a good quality stream for your your viewers so if you want to do 720 at third you could probably get away with maybe 2500 if you want to kick it up to do maybe 720 at 60 you're going to want to go higher maybe to 3500 or maybe even 4500 and if you're going to go further to a 1080p stream you can't really get it at a high quality and fast paced games so i wouldn't even recommend it but you could go up to 1080p 60 fps and go to the highest bit rate of 6000 kbps again not necessarily recommending it unless you're playing very slow paced games now i'm just giving you the settings that i know work for me depending on your specs for your computer your internet speed you're gonna have to mess with these things a little bit it's okay to play around create a test account stream to that figure out what's working what the quality's like and adjust from there i have a 5900 ryzen and a 3080 graphics card so i can run things at a pretty high level consistently and not impact my performance in my games too too much with that said i normally set my keyframe interval to two which i believe you should do as well my preset is set to quality my profile is set to high I don't have look ahead or psycho visual tuning on you can certainly try them on and see what it does for you you can also google what they do they explain right here in these question marks as well but again I'm trying to run through this so I'm not going to check those out for yourself I have GPU set to zero because I have one GPU it's going to default to it and max B frames to two you should probably also do that Moving on to your audio devices, you will wanna set your desktop audio device to whatever device you want to hear things through and you want the stream to pick up. So if you use your headphones and you want stream to hear what comes through your headphones, you will select your headphones. Duh. If there's a different audio device, you will select that. Next, you go down to your mic or auxiliary. That is where you will input, well, your microphones. Whatever <laughs> mic you want them to hear, make sure it's not set to your webcam. If you have a specific mic, not set to a camera, whatever it might be, choose the mic that you want your stream to hear and select Select it right here in the audio settings moving into your video settings this is where you're going to select your base canvas your output scaled resolution if you're going to adjust that as well as your downscale filter and your fps so as i said earlier depending on if you want to do 720p 1080p maybe 1440 whatever it might be that is what you will select for your output scaled resolution your base camera should be whatever your monitor base is whatever you are whatever screen you are capturing you will select that for your base resolution so for me it's 1440p i downscale to 1080 i use the langsos filter because i just think it looks better again you can play around with the filters that are in there you can google and see what works best for you and then i set mine to 60 fps again i have a high-end system it, and i'm capable of running that and i like to play high-paced games so it makes it look a little bit smoother all right so you figured out your settings you've connected your twitch account now let's set up what the stream will see when you go live so what you're going to want to do is create a scene here in the left side of the bottom of your obs we'll just call this one game in game you will go in and you will set up your different sources sources being your game captures your webcams your overlays all of those things are considered sources which you put into a scene so here we'll go ahead and add a game capture we will select the game that we wish to capture or have it set to capture any full screen application and add our webcam that means people will be able to see us and our game it is going to be in terms of layering what is on top will be at the top of the list what is on the bottom will be at the bottom of the list so if you want your webcam to be on top of your game you want to make sure it is higher than it in this column and that should be it you should be ready to start streaming you have your settings all done you've connected your twitch account you have your sources set up and now you're ready to stream so click that go live button and have some fun if this video was helpful make sure you subscribe to the channel check out some of the other ones and of course give the video a thumbs up i appreciate you and i look forward to seeing you in the next video